that it wouldn't be the first time that you hear the Coastal Bend is in need of a major drainage improvements. Word the Texas Water Development Board voted yes to get to the root of the problem. Our Ashley Gonzalez caught up with local leaders and shares how the drainage system of the region will dramatically improve and when. Three neighboring counties in the Coastal Bend were awarded a grant for research on both flooding and drainage. The grant is worth $2.7 million, and the ultimate goal is to stop flooding in our backyards. Driscoll's going to benefit, Petronila's going to benefit, the Colonias are going to win, Robstown's going to stop flooding in front of the high school, and we're going to figure this out. Figure this out as a team. <laughs> Jim Wells, Nueces, and Claybrook County are working together in finding where the flooding in their county begins and how to solve it once and for all. To see how the water flows, where it goes, and where our uh, problems are. So with this study, you can then go and pursue other bigger projects that will help uh, alleviate the drainage and the flooding in these areas. And for places like Robstown, finding the source to all the standing water after a major rain event is one thing, but fixing the issue will be a long time coming. This study is going to give us the details, the needs of what we actually need to do so that we can get this problem solved once and for all. So it makes me feel good that we're able to accomplish this, that we're able to do something that's going to benefit the citizens of Robstown. And once the research starts, the solutions follow. Hopefully within the next 12, 24 months, people will start seeing real change in their communities. They say the study will take about 18 months to complete. This way, each county will have the data they need to get funding. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News. Thank you, Ashley, and thanks to the recent rains, the city of Alice has now moved out of drought one restrictions. That means folks there are free to use their water as normal. The city of Alice gets most of its water from Lake Corpus Christi. Alice had been on restrictions since March 12th when water levels at the lake fell below 86 feet. Now, thanks to all this rain, the city has dropped all water restrictions and city officials are hopeful that their alternative water plan will soon go online so Alice won't be at the mercy of the lake level. We've uh, um, drilled a, a groundwater well. Um, it's uh, complete. There's still some other stages that need to be uh, finalized before we go into production. Uh, we got that. The water director also tells 3 News that there are about 7,000 customers who depend on that water from Lake Corpus Christi.